Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and Windows, Linux, and Mac OS need to all be quaking in their boots because there is a new OS in town. The Godot operating system is here. This is the first fully open source operating system written entirely using the Godot game engine and you can see it here in front of you. It's very early on. Uh, you see here you've got uh, file folders, you have uh, openable documents, you've got editable text and so on. Uh, you have maximizable and minimizable windows, you have multitasking available down here, uh, you have a start menu of sorts, and you even have the ability to play games. So let's go ahead and play some Tetris over here. Now interestingly enough, you actually even have multitasking, so if you want, you can play multiple games at the same time. Again, very early on, uh, but this is an operating system written in Godot. Okay, no, it's not. It's not an operating system at all. If anything, you would call this a system shell. In fact, this is, if I hit F11 here, you will notice this is an application. Uh, it's actually a very interesting application. This is um, Godot OS. It's basically a fake operating system made entirely in Godot, but there's actually still some value to this other than the novelty aspect of it, uh, in that it shows you how to create a fairly, relatively complex application inside of Godot, and you could host other Godot apps inside of it. So uh, yeah, that is it. They launched a trailer about what it's all about. Uh, this is the Godot OS and an operating system entirely uh, Inter operating system interface created entirely in Godot, browse folders, edit text files, view images, play games, and more in one cohesive polished interface that can be even used on the web. Uh, so it is more is more of a toy than a serious project. So again, this is not an operating system. It doesn't provide things like access to the underlying system. You can't boot to it. This is literally just a shell that sits on top of your computer. It does actually have interaction ability with the file system. If you hit Control Shift and F, it'll bring up a file browser. You can then drop things in. You also have the ability to set the wallpaper, a few other things. It's even got uh, resolution and DPI scaling, which a lot of things sadly don't these days. Um, so yeah, uh, basically that is the idea behind this. It is uh, meant to be a hub for small games and experience that can be bundled in. Uh, and then if you want to add your own games, you can do so. Uh, by the way, it's available for Linux, web, and Windows. Full source code is also available as well. It's been out for, uh, it was released last week. There's already been two updates to it as well. So this looks like a project that is actually going to uh, have some legs. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. If you're interested in actually adding your own, you know, gamelets to the Godot operating system, you can do so. The instructions for how to do so are available right here. Basically, you're just writing your code uh, in a like a GScript file. Uh, the, the instructions are all available here, and then there's certain things that you can't do because obviously uh, the root level stuff is all being controlled by the Godot OS itself. But if you wanted to extend this and create your own little applet, you can do so as well. Uh, it is under the GNU Afero, I think that's how you say that, Afero, I'm not really sure either way. Uh, GPL, so basically it's GPL with a little bit more conditions. GPL, not my favorite license out there. Uh, so if you're actually thinking about doing something serious with this, just know that there's a lot of limitations on the GPL license in terms of what you can actually do. But if it's a little hobby project you want to like learn from or play with or whatever, uh, you're completely fine. It's just basically you're going to have to make your code available if you make changes and that kind of stuff. So just be aware uh, that there are some license hindrances there. Um, and it, learning from it is actually pretty simple as this is ultimately a Godot app. So you go into scenes, for example, and then main, you'll have, you know, the the main bootloader for all of this stuff here. Uh, you have the desktop. So desktop folders are handled this, files are handled that way. It's all GD script. Uh, if you wanna learn how it all works, the taskbar and so on. But what it is is actually, again, it's funny. I, I think it's funny that someone created a fake OS using Godot. But on top of that, it is a um, pretty advanced application created using Godot. So if you're looking at using Godot for something other than games, this could actually be a little project that you could learn something from. So uh, that, I, at least I found interesting is why I went ahead and shared details about a fake operating system written in Godot. Because hey, number one, things are kind of fun. Uh, number two, you can learn from it. So uh, hopefully you guys found this at least somewhat interesting. Uh, I don't think uh, that Windows, Mac, or Linux have anything to fear in the, uh, the immediate future. Uh, maybe sometime way down the road, uh, we could have a shell extension replacement, but I doubt it. I, I think it's going to just be a fun play around with project. But if you're interested in learning from it, uh, it's an interesting one. If you like this project, drop in, give him a star, and let me know what you think. Godot OS. Uh, yeah, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.